Smash the like button. Thanks, Bob. What's up, Machine Freaks? I hope everybody's feeling fly. The snow has finally come. Prince is enjoying it. Prince, what do you think of this? This stuff is cold, isn't it? It's coming down pretty quick too because he's only been out for a couple seconds and he's already covered in some white. I told you guys yesterday that we're going to the scrapyard that the weather didn't look like this yesterday and I'm kind of regretting that I said I was going to the scrapyard. But uh, hey, we can make some money and we can have a little bit of fun in the snow, I guess. Prince, come on, let's go back. Come on. I gotta get uh, my trailer dolly thing that I used a couple weeks ago when I bought my snowmobile because I don't want to back into the lawn with my truck. You guys like my hat? Prince, you don't look like you're having too much fun, buddy. Come on, you gotta enjoy it. Come on. There we go. We just gotta pull the trailer to the Duramax and then back it into the driveway so that it's a little, so that it's a little closer instead of dragging junk all the way. Come on, Prince, get away from the road. Come on. This is gonna get old pretty quick, if you ask me. I don't think we're gonna make it to the scrapyard. I can't even pull my trailer out of my yard. Now I remember, snow sucks. You can't work in this crap, can you, Prince? The UPS guy's here, and I'm sure Prince will wanna eat him up, so. Better hang on to him. Just set that there, thank you. You too. Prince, I don't think we're gonna make it to the scrapyard today. It's just snowing way too much, way too fast. Supposedly, we're gonna get a snowstorm. So instead of worrying about getting to the scrapyard and whatever, I'm gonna call up those people about my winter tires because I'm gonna need them really bad, really quick. Was it fun though? It's been three and a half hours since I've spoke with you guys, and we got some serious snow. Luckily, it's not coming down as fast as it was, but I mean, we, we've had nothing, and now we have like all of this. Can you see how tall this snow is? Like, these boots are pretty tall. They're just high enough to keep the snow out of them. I gotta work on my grandmother's snow blower. I gotta fix that thing. As you can see, we clearly need it. But I wanna go downtown and check some stuff out. We didn't get one call from the school, we got two calls from the school, and then we got a call from the town. It's getting bad here. This is all the snow that came here after three and a half hours. When I got home, there was like that, that much, and that was only in some spots, that wasn't in everything. Now it's just everywhere and these boots are doing nothing. I have a whole bunch of snow inside my boots. Definitely exciting. There's roads actually coming into our town that are closed as well. bus from up Dayton Hill had to let a kid off it took off the rear hit the guardrail and that was all she wrote. Oh yeah. So the cop stopped and <laughs> asked well, her for their date of birth and everything? The, I think There's that's the cop. the cop right there. <laughs> the cop taking names and dates of birth where we live. That's funny. I kind of want to do a small little recap. 
So I talked to Jake's mother, that's who I spoke to there when I was shoveling. Jake's sister's school bus hit a guardrail with the rear end and they were just stuck. So then the cop had to come over, write a report, get everybody's like date of birth and everybody's name. And then I guess what ended up happening was the bus finally managed to get traction and uh, took Jake's sister home. What's up machine freaks, welcome to the vlog. As you guys can probably see, the only thing that's clean on this truck is the hood. And that's because I've had it plugged in since 4 a.m. You can see my extension cord running right down here and into my garage. So she should be warm. The only problem is, is I have to clean this thing off. And of course my snow brush is inside. Maybe I can grab one from the other vehicles. It's locked of course. You know what, we'll, we'll just go for it. We'll risk it and see what happens. So if you're not used to snow in your area, these are the problems that you deal with. You got all this snow right on the door. You open it really slowly. And if you open it slow enough, it does that. And then, and then you have minimal snow on your seat. This actually fell on there last night because it's frozen over. Look at this. I'm barricaded in here. All this snow. If I shut this door. And then that's what you got to do. You got to slam it so that when you open it, it doesn't fall on you. At least that's the theory. The glow plug light didn't even come on, it's so warm. Let's see how she likes warming up since she's been sitting for a couple hours. Beautiful. That's why you gotta plug it in, plug it in. woke up this morning the roads were white now they're black so we shouldn't have very many issues my tires are terrible they're really wide and they don't have that much tread the post office box is much bluer today I want to buy another Carhartt hat I want to buy a gray one because I'm gonna get this orange one dirty I was gonna go with the $8 hat but he sold me a $9.99 hat. So a $10 hat. I'm rocking it. I dig it. And now we're off. I don't think I've told you guys where we're going yet. That's good, that's exhilarating. This was the road that was actually closed yesterday because of the hill. It leads down into the village. The village it has hills all around it. I guess there were a lot of accidents on this one. I actually forgot the only thing that I was supposed to remember. Actually, two things that I was supposed to remember. <laughs> you can tell how much I can remember. I'm going to pick up my snow tires that I already bought. It's been two days since I originally wanted to put them on. And they're finally allowing me to come out and put them on even after screwing up and uh, not putting me in for today. But they're just going to try to put me in. Uh, the only problem is, is I'm running late to that appointment. So I need to grab the tires and rims and my receipt. I saw this guy in the ditch with his tractor. I got a four-wheel drive diesel. I can help him out. I even got a chain, I think. He's stuck right in the ditch. I turned around. Does he have his tractor? I can help this guy out. My truck weighs more than that freaking thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he's buried. Duramax to the rescue. What is the Dodge gonna help too? The Chevy's got it, baby. The Chevy's got it. Good thing I bought that. How's it going? What's up, man? You got any smell for it? Uh, I don't know. I just pulled over to help this guy out. I should be able to get it, though. Right. Uh, right. Thanks, so. though. How you doing, sir? Huh? How you doing, sir? Not good. Hey, I, I'll help you out. I can't get it out with the bucket. Do you need some help? Huh? Do you need some help? Yeah. I can help you out. You can. Yeah, I think I think that truck's a little heavier than that tractor. I think I'll pull you right out. Okay. I'm going to buy some new tires right now. I would I would do even better if if I don't get you, but we well, should be able to get you. There's one guy from Brown Road that stopped. He said if I had a chain, he'd grab onto me, but I didn't have a chain. It was with Yeah, I brought a chain. I already had a chain. What do you think? If I just pull you backwards? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's all I need. Okay. I'll put it in reverse and we'll go. Okay, sounds good. He says he's going to put it in reverse and go. Yeah, that, yeah. The only thing is, I'm going to put my camera up here and I'm going to, I'm going to record it. Oh, I okay. bet. Okay. <laughs> Got the shot. Can you, hey, can you say smash the hell out of the like button for me on camera or no? Yeah. Say, say smash the like button. Smash the like button. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Take care. Bob's awesome. Bob's awesome. We got him all set. It took four low with the Duramax. She was screeching, but she got him out. He was really, really stuck. <laughs>